Jay Wilson with Northfin USA, northfinusa.com, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Check it out, like it, subscribe it, do your thing. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. But what are we here to talk about? Yes, this is a 75 gallon. Yes, this is not my 75 gallon. This is Mindy's 75 gallon. And let me tell you, the filtration that we chose is absolutely perfect. So you know in the past that I've used Sun Sun HW304 Bravos. I've used Fluval FX5 and FX6s. When you start getting into the Fluval side, you start paying a lot of money for quality, but still a lot of money. So what if I told you that there was a filter out there that you can get that can do just as good a job as the Fluval FX6 for one fourth of the price? No, I don't sell it. No, I'm not sponsored by it. And no, they did not pay me to say any of this. Prior to 70, setting up the 75 gallon, we decided to go a little cheaper. What we wanted to do was figure out a way to make this tank look amazing, but still keep our costs down. Well, we came across the HW704 Bravo. Unlike the 703 Bravo, which is slightly smaller, we'll get to that in a second. The HW704 Bravo is two series newer than the 304 Bravo. Are you following me? 304 Bravo, 404 Bravo, 704 Bravo. Yes, it is a mess. But the 304 and the 404 are very similar. The 704 kind of makes a slight change. If you pay attention to Apple, you'll notice that their iPhones slightly look the same and they add a couple more features as you go along. Well, that's what I found with the 704 Bravo. So let's talk specifications. So we've done a test. We have a 304 Bravo on the 220 and we have two 704 Bravos on the 75. So I went and measured the 304 Bravo. It's about 17 and a half inches tall and roughly 31 inches around. So how does the 704 Bravo compare? Well, the 704 Bravo is about an inch bigger as tall and as round. And in a few moments, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about round. Now the 704 Bravo uses 10 watts less to power it, when, but it still produces the same amount of flow. Produces 2000 liters per hour. So, What's the difference? Well, I can only imagine that they worked on some scientific, cool new invention. No, they used a better motor. That's what they did. It still has the nine watt UV sterilizer. It has a new button to press for it. Same priming techniques, same tubing, same plastics, but slightly different design. It's better. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's better. So in a few moments, we're gonna take a peek at it. But what I wanted to do was show you the box that the 704 Bravo comes in. This is the 703 Bravo. Yes, for a secret project. We'll get to that in future videos. This is the packaging of the 704 Bravo. It's like a space-like next big thing. <laughs> I mean, they made it so much better. So the packaging's slightly different. The instructions to put it together are slightly different and how to prime it are slightly different. This is the box that the 304 Bravo comes in. Very bright, very colorful, showing you all sorts of fish. Still telling you what it does, but in a very minimalistic manner. Touch to perfection. <laughs> so for the moment you put your hands on it, you're supposed to feel amazing, I guess. I don't know. So here's the deal. I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to go underneath the tank, and we're going to talk a little bit about what is different from the 704 Bravo. I'm also going to put a link in the descriptions to a video of what the internals of these filters look like because the internals have not changed one bit. They still have the same exact plastic baskets. They still have the same exact crystal tubing that goes over the UV sterilizer. Everything is the same inside, but the outside is what is slightly different. Do I recommend this filter? If you can get your hands on a 704 Bravo, I highly recommend it. If you cannot, I still highly recommend the 304 Bravo. I still have one. It still works. Have I had issues with them? Absolutely. Just like any other product in the world, 
you're never going to get a 100% satisfaction. Never. There will always be somebody that complains. There will always be a forum that creates some sort of trickle effect to show you the, the minor details that went wrong when developing a certain product. It's okay. The 304 Bravo, 404 Bravo, and 704 Bravo are very, very high quality filters for your fish tank, especially if you're on a budget. So let's check it out. So as you can see, it still utilizes the same exact cheapo plastic tubing. Is it a good thing? Yeah, I guess. Is it a bad thing? Yeah, I guess. It's one of those double-edged blades where you're danged if you do or danged if you don't. If they do a higher quality plastic, they have to charge more. Well, I'm okay with the cheapo plastic. It has never broken on me. It has never cracked. It has never done anything of any detriment to my tank. So we're okay with the cheapo plastic. So there we go. Completely redesigned, right? This is the 704 Bravo. You can see that they put their specifications right here on the top. You now have a push button underneath this rubberized, I don't know what you would call it, like a, um, I don't know. It's very similar to rubber, but it's not. It's like a TPU plastic, I guess you can say. Um, still has the same primer, still has the same exact tubing and same exact nozzles. Now, when I talked about being taller, from the ground up, it is much taller. But these add a little bit more girth. I'm not sure from the inside if this is slightly more narrow. It may be. And that may be what's driving the energy efficiency to this. They made it an inch taller, maybe slightly even more narrow around. And this allows the pump to push harder, but not have to work as hard because there's not as much surface space on the outside. It's just taller. But it's hard to say because the baskets are identical. So if you were gonna do process of elimination, I would say that the only difference is, is that there is a slight, slight increase in plastic on the inside and the outer wear is just to help you with taking it out from underneath the tank. Now, as you can see, I have two of them. They are running on this 75 gallon, which is absolutely amazing. The wife's tank's coming along, that OB is coming out, and that is pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the 304 Bravo looks like so you can see the difference right on camera. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is the Sunsun HW 304 Bravo. Let me get this out of the way. So the stickers on the side, it doesn't have any of that outer capping, so it's a little bit more difficult to take out from underneath the fish tank. Is it much harder? No, but the new 704 Bravo does make it slightly easier. It has this weirdo cap that goes on top of, let me show you, the TPU button, which is just covered, I guess, for weatherproofing or something of that nature. But you can barely see that it's on unless you get completely over it. Well, that poses a problem if you don't have much space. As you can see, it is a little bit different. Not much, but hey. They're only 60 something bucks, all the way ranging to $78 for the newer one. So I highly recommend either or. If you don't mind this look, you don't mind that it's a little bit smaller, you don't mind that it uses about 10 more watts, go for it. I promise you, you won't be sorry. The priming is definitely a big bit of an issue. I will tell you that you should at least fill this 75% or more and this way, the priming isn't as hard. All right, so let's go back and talk a little bit more about where to get it and what to do. All right, so we're back in front of the tank. What do we wanna talk about? Well, I hope you got an idea of what the 304 Bravo and the 704 Bravo look like and what they do differently. What can you expect to pay? Well, if you're gonna buy the older version, expect to pay anywhere from $60 to $76. Now up to 78. If you're gonna buy the new version, look to spend upwards near $80. Do not pay $300, do not pay $150. If you want media with it, you can get media with it. Do I recommend it? I wouldn't do it, but that's completely up to you. Save money here, spend money here, yes. Save money in filtration by getting a quality product at minimal cost and spend more money towards quality fish, like purchasing fish from Southeast Cichlids and various other retailers that are online. You see how that math equation works? Less money, equals more money 
equals better, I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, yeah, spend less money, spend more money on fish. And I promise you, I can't promise, but I guarantee you, I can't guarantee you, I can almost assure you that you will be much happier in the long run. Are these things flawless? Absolutely not. Are $400 filters flawless? Absolutely not. So I'd rather spend less money, take the chances, and enjoy the benefits of bringing it to the table for myself. Check them out on Amazon. I put a link in the description. You can get them from Tech and Toy on Amazon and eBay. But remember, don't spend more than, I wouldn't go above 100 bucks. I really wouldn't. But there's going to be a question that's going to be asked, so I'm going to address it now. What if I got a background? There's no way for me to suction cup any of the tubing and everything moves around in the back. Utilize the suction cups for the outside of the tank. You can utilize them by sticking the suction cup onto the glass and utilizing the hoses to clip right in. Now they don't move on top, you've secured them from the backside, and everything is kosher. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you got enough information out to make an educated decision on purchasing a better filter for your tank. Remember, I always recommend more than one filter in the, in the case of a malfunction. You always have a filter to back up to. It's just a peace of mind for me. It could be a peace of mind for you. So you know what's next. And I'll